Hello friends, welcome. In this video, I'm going to work with the admin and moderator. So for the admin, I'm going to add a field is admin in the users table and check if that is true. I'm going to give a permission to delete post to the admin user. And for the moderator, which means the user who has created the community so if i go i have logged in with a second user and this user has created this community now all the posts belong to this community i'm going to give a permission to this user to delete you can give permission also to edit but i'm going to give only for delete okay now let's start first with the moderator if i go to the show page in the post so to this one when we have the edit and delete buttons and if i go up here when we check here we check if the user is logged in and then if the post data owner is true or false so let's inspect the elements go to the view and inside the post data we have the owner which is true now this owner is coming from the if I go HTTP controllers front end post controller. Here we return post data from this post show resource, and the owner is here. We check if the auth ID is this user ID is the same as this user ID. Okay. Now, because I want to give the permission also to the owner of to the moderator, I'm going to make a different check here. So we need to check different for delete and different for the edit. For the edit, I'm going to give permission only to the user who has created the post. For delete, I'm going to give permission to the user who has created the post, to the user who will belong this community and to the user, if they, to the admin user. Okay, now for that, I'm going to remove this owner here. Okay, let's save, close this one. And also in the show, when we check, I'm going to remove this data owner and save for now and if i refresh nothing happened we have the edit and delete and also now we have the second one because right now we check only if the user is authenticated okay and if i want to delete this so i'm not the owner and i want to delete we have the this action is unauthorized because we protect with a policy. So in the backend community post controller, here we update and delete the post of this community. We say check if this authorized delete post, we can delete. Otherwise, we return this one. Okay, now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go when inside the front end post controller, and here I'm going to say dollar sign can update and let's say false and also dollar sign can delete. And let's say false for now and add them here. So can update and can delete. Save, let's go now to this show page. And in here, when we define the props, I'm going to add can delete. It's going to be not object, but Boolean. And the same for the can update, which is going to be boolean. 
and why we don't have boolean here okay now if i save and let's go refresh go to the inspect can update and can delete these faults now what i'm going to check here is i'm going to check if that user can update the post and can delete the post so based on the policy if i open the post policy uh, we have here the update and delete and we check if the user id is the same as the post user id and the same we have for delete and now here what i'm going to do i'm going to say now the post we have a new post show resource and we need the post i'm going to say here dollar sign community post is going to be equal to this post here so let's cut this and paste inside and now let's add the post in here okay so we need we have the community post as an post model and the post is now the post show resource which is okay now here we can say if the auth user can uh, for the update we can say can update the community post dollar sign community post and let's do the same for the delete just change that okay just change this to be delete and if i save now and refresh we say can delete and can update is false because this post is not belonging to the this user and what we say here we say if this user id is the same as the post user id if i go to the post belong to this user and see here we see both of them are true okay with that now we can say in the show page when we check before so here first we check if the user is logged in okay next i'm going to show this link if so check, say if the if can update okay and the second one the delete one we can say v if can delete and now if i save and come and refresh yeah can edit and can delete refresh again now if i go to the second user second post we don't see okay very good now how we can add the owner of this community also to delete this only to delete what i said in the first what we can do we can go to the post policy and here when we check for the delete instead of saying only return true if the user id is the same as the post user id i'm going to say if so return true if in the in array the user id and here add the post user id or the post community user id so what we said here if the user here is the authenticated user is the 
post is the same as the post user ID or the same as the post community user ID, which means the community, which means the moderator. And now, if I save this and come here and refresh, uh, what? Ah, yeah, we need to close this one and the refresh. Now we can see only the delete because we only return here and instead of in the update, we say only if the user ID is the same as the post user ID. Now, if you want also to give the permission to edit, we, you can just say something like this and you are ready to go. So if I save and refresh, as you can see, but I'm going to give permission only to delete. Okay. And now let's work with, uh, that's it about the moderator. So we can delete the post. Now let's work with the admin. For that, I'm going to add the Boolean is admin field in the user model. So let's go in the VS code and let's open the terminal here. Close this and say artisan make migration. And I'm going to say add is admin to the users, the users table. Okay. And then run again the npm run dev. Close this and let's open now that's uh, database migration. And here let's say dollar sign table boolean is admin. And by default, it's going to be false. Default false. Save again. We need to around the migration again. So let's close and say artisan migrate. Okay. And let's close this one now. Come here and let's log out and register a new user. I'm going to name it admin. Admin, admin at admin.com. Give it the password. And we send the email, so we need to verify the email and I'm going to verify from here. So let's verify it. And if I log in as admin at admin.com, add the password. Yeah, we are logged in. Just now we need to change, so refresh here. We need to change the is admin to true to this one. So in the users table, refresh. Down there, let's change this to be one. Now this user is admin. And how we can give a uh, permission to, so let's go here and the same let's go to this one i want also to see if the delete button here if the user is admin so what we can do is very easy just go inside the post policy here when we check for in array user id the same as this one I'm going to say first check if the user is admin or in array check for the this one now if the user is admin so if that boolean what we added is true it's going to return true 
or in the array return that one. Now, if I come here and refresh, okay, we need to save here. I forget to save, and now if I refresh here, we see the delete. And let's go also in the home page. We can see the delete button for the user, for the admin user on every post. Okay, friends, that's it about this video. I hope you enjoy, and now let's see you in the next one. All the best, and thank you very much.